Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 4 of the Minecraft Hardcore series. This guy might try and kill me. Um, you're probably wondering how we got on top of this mountain here. And that is a very good question. Well, in episode 3, which, if you haven't noticed, is not there. And that's because it got corrupted. Um, episode 3, we, we went out, out on an adventure. And, well, I made it to this mountain here. I'm trying not to look at all the endermen that are around. Because there's also one there. Um, but we went to this mountain because, well, as you see, we have two hearts gone there. And that's an issue, of course, because uh, natural re regeneration is off. So we needed a golden apple. Well, on top of that cliff was, uh, was a nether portal, like the, one of the rune nether portals with a gold block on it. It's night. We should probably get away. Oh, what's that? It's a village. Oh, I didn't see that before and the iron golem seems a bit hurt. Uh, I actually never noticed that before. We should probably check that out sometime. Um, but we made our way all the way up this mountain. Kind of like this with our weird stairs that I made. And, uh, yeah, all that footage is lost. So, I mean, it wasn't too entertaining, so I'm not too distraught about it. But it was a little annoying that I gotta walk up all these stairs again. Especially in hardcore, because, you know, it's kind of risky. That's why I didn't go all the way back to the original base. So, that could be the last we ever see of it. Um, but, if we go back up here, it's turning night, the rune nether portal is right there. We, we made it, and then I built this shack because it started to turn night, and I spent the night there just so I could redo the thing in the morning. And it appears, once again, that we're stuck here for the night. So, that's a bit of an issue. But also, in the meantime, I made some iron gear. I had enough iron left over from episode 2, and then I did some more mining off camera, and I got just enough to make a full set of iron armor. Uh, these boots were also in the chest over there. Uh, we'll go back to that in a bit, once it turns day. But I also got this sword and an axe, which is really weird, because I didn't think you could get that much stuff in the chest. Because um, there's, like, even more stuff. Was that a phantom? That's not good. Oh, and I left my bed at the other place. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna, I'll be right back, and, oh, no, I forgot about this roof. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm gonna set up, like, a mining camp, and hopefully we can survive the night. Turns out the bed was in the chest, so I could skip to morning. You know, it kind of actually makes me want to build an observatory, because I feel like right now, if I were to die in this world, the only thing I would lose is time. There's no real builds I like. It's, we've just built shacks and a hidey hole, you know? There's not much here, so I think I think we gotta change that. So I think we should try and get some sand. We should try and get some glass. Or well, I need, guess you need sand to make glass. Uh, so we should try and get some glass. And I don't know, maybe build an observatory, or even just a house with a really nice view. So I think once most of these mobs burn up, we should be happening any moment. Let's just open this up and see what's going on out here. And no creepers. No creepers. Okay. Um, oh, there's more sheep up here, too. So, oh, there is a creeper. Oh, skeleton. Skeleton. Hardcore. Parkour. I don't want to get hit by that, because I, I actually I have iron armor. I should be fine. But it's still a risk I'm not w wanting to take. Oh, no. No. Okay. We're, uh, we're back down in health. But, that brings us to what I said we would do when it became morning. So I'm just going to block this up. Uh, because I don't... I'm a little worried about it. Being honest. And also this cliff is kind of scary too. Don't want to fall down that. Okay, I think there's no mobs. In this chest, there was a lot of stuff. There was this, there was the axe. Um... There was the boots, even. Like, I didn't think you could get this much stuff. But we also got two obsidian. Well, guess what? There's even more right here. We can go to the nether soon. Maybe if we get a diamond pick. Uh, the gold block, which was up there. A golden apple, which is, well, what we came for. So, we can now... Where is it? Heal ourselves. Finally. No, actually, I should probably stay still. We're going to have... Wait, wait, is that it? Oh, okay, well, we still have one heart of damage because of that skeleton. 
but we should be fine. Um, now, on to what we should do today. I think we should try and build an observatory. So I actually looked at this area over here when I first got up here. And, you know, I didn't really look down. I just sat on top of this tree because I was a little scared that we'd fall. Um, a bit paranoid in this world. But look at this. There's a whole ocean here. I just gotta stay back from the edge. Um, look at this. There's a jungle over there. Our, our old base area over there. Is that it? No, it's just some other cave, I think. Yeah. Our base is somewhere over there. I think it's behind this cliff here. Um, but also, it turns out our waters are infested. It's, I mean, it's a pretty cool location for one. Like, look, it digs into the mountain. But if there's one thing that the, that kills me in Minecraft the most, it's Guardians. On the server I play on, I have 141 deaths. Over 100 of them are to Guardians while making a farm. Okay. I learned my lesson from trees last time. I'm going to be a little bit careful getting down. Um, but yeah, I think it's time we actually build something. So we got our axe. We also have a gold block on us still. I'll use it for the other apple later. And let's, uh, let's start making a house. So I do have a bit more acacia back at the base, I think. And I think we should build it right by the cliff. It's going to be dangerous. But if we can lay this out properly, let's let's break these trees too, actually. And we could use this gold axe. I mean, it's, who cares? We'll break it pretty quickly. But I think it's if there's a time to use it, it's now when we don't have better tools. Uh, let's see. See, I really like building in this this pattern, I guess, you know, five by fives. It's really easy. And then you can just make frames pretty quickly, because I, I would say I'm not the best builder, but I think I can make an okay looking house. Maybe not an acacia, we'll find out. And this is gonna break my axe. Oh no it didn't. Okay. Um hmm. probably like that. Yeah, so we got our balcony here. And then we'll have our main house. So I think we should have it raised up, kind of. So once again, we're going to place three blocks, three blocks, and then we'll have a staircase. So I left my crafting table over here. Alrighty, okay. So I got, I brought the bed over and I brought the crafting table over, but I also got an iron axe now. So that should speed things up a little bit. I think the plan is maybe, maybe uh, acacia stairs. I don't think we're cobblestone stairs would look too good. Especially because it's a raised house, you know, kind of like the weight. I feel like just wouldn't look right. So let's just take some of these. And I also think we should make the floor out of, I think that's too many. But I think we should make the floor out of slabs because then it would look like the, lo the frame is more of a frame than it is. Okay, that really wasn't enough. Stairs. I thought it was too many. Uh, let's see. Let's just make some more like this. And again, I'm going to be following the 5x5 five five pattern here. I think that is the plan. Two, three. And so we got to go on up three blocks. Hmm. I feel like this might be high enough, actually. Because if I do something like this. Or no, I should I should probably add more stairs just to have it balance out. And then we'll have the floor start here. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Alrighty, so I spent a lot longer than I thought working on this. Um, I only got the floor done, but I guess uh, time for the the grand reveal. Yeah, it's it's very orange. <laughs> um, oh, actually, you know what? I should put some fences here. Yeah, before the grand reveal, let me just put some fences here. And grand reveal. Yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> Um, I did build the balcony first for some reason, and I was going to hook it up to the logs, right? You know, like this, um, but that just felt really small, so I expanded a bit, and now the logs are kind of in the corners, but not in the corners, and you know, I wanted to stick to my 
the building like the grid pattern I guess kind of like this but I'm not sure if it if it works you know um I guess we'll have to see what the rest of the house looks like I guess we got the floor done now so uh huh uh, where to go from here I think maybe I will use some cobblestone so let's just let's just try out some designs here I have six logs left okay um, let's try it in this corner right here. I don't think it looks too bad. Actually, you know what? This is how I'll figure it out. The village over here. It's, I think it's an acacia village, if I remember correctly. I only saw it like a half hour ago. I should know. But if we go over here, what type of... Yeah, it's in the savanna biome, so it should be. I see a path, but no village. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. We can't see any houses from here. Uh, what if we go over here? A bit? Okay, I do see a house. It's terracotta is the only issue. Where am I going to get terracotta? Um, okay, maybe cobblestone is going to be what we do here. At least some, some gray will balance out the orange. And I, I really don't think oak wood's going to look too good. And that is the only other thing up here. So I guess that's what we will do. I still have the same amount of food here. Barely eaten it. Um, okay. Yeah, maybe cobblestone is what we'll do. Let's actually do that. And we will see how this looks. I guess probably just donut windows. Okay, you know what? It will do. It will do. And I'll be right back while I build this. So I actually made the rest of the house. Unfortunately, I came upon an issue, and um, it's quite a big one. Well, you see, you know, there's this weird floor here, you know. Oh, it's, it's one block tall. Well, there's a reason for that. Oh, I'm out of acacia wood, too. Um, remember how we're on a cliff? This is the build height. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. So, I was going to have, like, a second story, and it would be all well and cool. You know, we could have, like, a actually decorative area here. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. I could make it a bungalow. Might not look too bad and have, like, one of the big fat roofs. But this is as high as we can build. So, these nice stairs I made. I mean, they're not too nice, but, you know. It took me forever to line them up so no windows were blocked. Um, but, yeah. I think that might be what we got to do. But you know what? I spent a lot of time on this house. Way too long. This took a lot of materials. In fact, it's the most progress we've made. And we made it in one episode. So, you know, I guess that's going to be it. But before I end this episode, um, I've recently, you know, started looking at mod packs again. And I realized there's this relatively new one called Feed the Beast Academy. Um, it's kind of like a beginner's mod pack. It has all my favorite mods like Tinker's Contract, uh, Thermal Expansion and you know a few others and well you know I, it's been a while since i played a mod pack and i don't i've never actually went into more mods than i guess the main ones like thermal expansion tinker's construct as i said um so you know i might i might make a series on that of course this one will still be here until i die which you know could be any moment what if there wasn't a fence here well that's the end of this series uh but yeah you know just let me know what you think about that idea and uh I, I guess I've, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I don't want to walk off that. I just broke that. Okay, well, bye-bye. <laughs>